so many different situations on the same river it can be different riffles and runs and pools we were on the East Walker River and we were analyzing a certain section a kind of a a little bit bigger slack water deeper pool and I was talking to Whitney Inman who's a guide on that East Walker and how she would target and approach that pool so we're looking at this section of river and I think dry dropper here's where I'm looking at this particular scenario. We've got some faster moving water up at the head of the pool, little riffly, little more oxygenated water. I wanna start with maybe a dry dropper set up here. I'd start in the faster, more braided stuff where it's, it's uh, you can see a little bit of the white water in the, in the tumbling part of uh, this gradient here. I want to start with my nearest water close to me first. So if I'm starting on river left, I want to fish this first run, start on the seam closest to me, work my way across, get a good downstream drift, work my way across, hit the soft middle in between the two major runs, then work my way out farthest away from me and keep that farthest water for last. So coming back to our tumbling riffle over here, I wouldn't necessarily cast all the way to the very top of it. I'd probably throw my dry dropper set up about halfway up, let my flies tumble down into this pool down below it. Um, another section that you can see here, it's a little soft water that's pushed out over here to river left. There likely could be something holding there um, it's not the place I'd target first if I didn't necessarily see something surfacing. I wouldn't necessarily target that with a dry dropper setup. That might be cause for throwing a different setup, but that wouldn't to me appeal to unless I see actual feeding dimples on the water rise form. I wouldn't necessarily throw a dry dropper setup there cool stuff. Let us know if you want to be put in contact with Whitney Inman. She's a guide with the Angler's Edge. She guides and focuses on the East Walker River and a fantastic resource up there as you could see from the information she was giving us about analyzing that pool on the river. If you want that kind of thing and understand a little bit of knowledge and somebody who knows the locations can put you on fish, Whitney would be a great resource and a great person to be get in touch with. We'll see you right here next time on The Backcast.